impact that we have with our producers is synonymous with sustainability, with conservation, with soil health, water, wildlife. We do need to feed a world. We need to fuel a world. We need to deliver fiber. And that happens on a landscape with our farmers, our ranchers, every single day. And we're a part of that as this organization, Pheasants Forever and Welfare. My name is Lee Weiskup. We're standing in a field that my grandfather bought in 1942 here in Missouri Valley, Iowa, and that's in Harrison County. I started using Precision Ag back in 2011. I'm Arthur Weiskup. I'm currently the youngest generation here at Weiskup Farms. Arthur came home from college. We put 243 acres into CRP and like 17 different parcels to show the landlords there was no profit, minimal profit, huge losses. And now it's in CRP and they're making money. And we're making money, I'm making money because I'm not farming those poor areas. Precision agriculture. How do we take something red and turn it green? This data is giving up new insights and validation of the changes that they want to make and validating returns on the changes that they have made. And plus that CRP is building organic matter and improving those poor areas. So maybe in 10 years, they might not be as bad. I'm Nick Salek and I'm a Farm Bill Wildlife Biologist with Pheasants Forever. And my role specifically uh, was finding conservation programs that could uh, help turn red acres green, remove some of the unprofitable acres and let them focus on their good acres. This seeding is a CRP floodplain wetland restoration. Areas like that that are low and wet are often unprofitable and that's uh, one of the reasons that the Weiss Cups enrolled part of this field into the conservation reserve program and we get lots of benefits uh, for wildlife so we have things like our cool season grasses, Indian grass which is warm season and then wildflowers and that's really where the magic happens for a lot of wildlife. And having things like that really uh, provides habitat for pollinators. Practice like this too, really clear implications for water quality. So without any further ado, I'm going to ask Lee and Arthur, please come up.